Yo, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the beginning of spooky season since it's finally here. I know we've all been waiting. I also know that most of us live most of our life as spooky season, but doesn't matter. I hope you're getting to enjoy it. I know the pandemic is still here and still making things difficult, so hopefully it will be a safe and enjoyable spooky season for everybody. If you're the title of this video, then you know that this video is about a subscription box about Apothecary. So the subscription is called Apothecary at Home. Now, disclaimer, I was sent this box, so disclaimer off of that, I did not buy it, but in all honesty, this is something that really, really interests me. As you know, I consider myself a green witch and a chaos witch, a little bit more chaos now than anything else. <laughs> but I do love green witchcraft. The only thing about um, green witchcraft is that I don't do much when it comes to like apothecary all that much. I like making incense and you know I can do like bath herbs. I do things like that. I don't do a lot when it comes to anything that's in contact with your skin or that you um, ingest because those things make me really nervous <laughs> and I don't want to screw anything up. Um, because apothecary on a basic level is medicine and you know you really need to know what you're doing if you're gonna do it because it can get kind of dangerous and especially if you're on medications just because you're on something and then you take something that's like herbal does not mean that they don't interact with each other so you do actually have to do a lot of research and you have to be careful and you have to know what your body can take because even though the, the rest of the world can take something doesn't mean that you're not sensitive to it so there's like a lot of work involved and you know when it comes to like googling things online I don't always feel like all the information out there is concrete and you need to do a lot of research on that and it just is a hard thing to start because like where do you even begin kind of deal you know at least that's how I feel so that's where this box comes in to handy um, they have a list of good uh, books that they recommend and they even have they have one that they like highly recommend that they quote a bunch so if there's something in the booklets that you don't understand they will like Sometimes they'll have the page of the book they want you to like look up and look more into and they highly suggest looking into everything on your own. There's an app that they suggest getting that when you make something and if you're on medication it can like tell you like if they're okay to take together or something like that which is really cool that they put all the information in there. They do have like a health disclaimer point where obviously this is not medicine from a doctor and this is herbal stuff and you need to do your research on anything double fold because of on how your body takes anything or anything like like that. Moving on from that, I'm going to go over some of the stuff in the box now. The first two things I pulled out is when you join them, you get a welcome booklet and then you also get a booklet on the monthly um, box. I mean, they're, they're thin booklets, but they go over a lot of stuff. Like, they go over like a vocabulary study sheet, they go over a list of herbal actions, bonus terms, fundamental articles that you should read before medicine making things to read, harvesting herbs, recommended materials, their philosophy, recommended books, curriculum overview, and just the welcome guide, right? So they go over a bunch of stuff in that. And then every month you get a little booklet that goes over a bunch of stuff too. So it starts off with like all what's in the box. And then like, so this month is an easy to breathe respiratory box. And so, it goes over the respiratory introduction, herbal actions, a eucalyptus monograph, um, project ideals, recipes, a vapor rub recipe, more recipes, uh, video resources, and a study checklist. So if you are learning like I will be learning, it's really cool that they have all this stuff written down for you because yes, you can do everything on your own and you can look it up and you can find the books and this is more of like making it so you have to do it every month kind of deal you know what I mean where it's like hey you have it you have to do it get to work on it like it has a lot of stuff in here it tells you what you have it gives you journal like a journal prompt for everything for this and they recommend like you doing your own grimoire just for this and like keeping your notes and going through everything and Figuring out how you take the plant or how you like it, spending like, I think they say like every week you should just focus on one. So this box came with three um, different herbs 
and they also give you seeds too to plant so you can like get used to the plant completely. They have eucalyptus in this box, they go over the Latin name, the common name, the tonical family, the parts used medicinally, herbal actions, the energetics and taste, the preparation types. They even talk about how like what it's bad, if it has reactions, stuff like that, the clinical uses, history and folklore on it just a little bit, um, correspondence, and magical uses. So it's, um, it's kind of like a this page and this page just on the one herb and then they have the next one um, and they kind of go from there. They have project ideas for each one that you get and like things that you can do if you want to and then they have um, some recipes to herbal vapor rub recipe is the one I'm going to do. I'm gonna they have a sun method and a stovetop method. I'm gonna do the sun method and have it sit for a while and then become a vapor rub, which I'm very excited about. They have their uh, video resources that you can just scan and they'll pop up and then they have a study checklist and it goes for each one. So if you're just doing this for like a hobby, they have the checklist for a hobby. If you're being a student, you do the whole hobby list and then you do the little student student list. And then if you're like an apprentice or you're you know, farther along, you do the hobby list, you do the student list, and then you do the apprentice list. And that is the booklet. So again, that's a lot of stuff in already, just these two things. So I'm gonna open the box. I already opened the box, I pulled those out, but I'm going to open the box and show you some of the other stuff you get with it. This part I'm going to go over a little bit quicker because time, you know? So in this one you get a cute little photo of eucalyptus. Then you get, um, there is a loose leaf a sinus relief blend. I love getting tea and I love eucalyptus, so my day is already going really well. Um, and then you have the Herbal Zen Natural Healthy Shower Steamer. This one is Peppermint and Eucalyptus. So it's kind of nice because you do get some freebies in it too. Well, not freebies, but you know, you get something extra than just like the herbs and the knowledge. It's exciting. Um, so this one came with two like fabric bags, two amber jars, and then a tin jar. So this is probably what I'll put the vapor rub in when I make it. A little amber jar with, with a little dropper. So then you get a little seed packet. This one's got the mullein seeds in it. Um, and then, you get your, then you get your herbs. You don't get just one, you get three. Um, and then you also get little apothecary stickers that you can put on everything so that it's all labeled, which is nice because if I'm not given a label, it won't be labeled and then I won't know what it is because I'm great at this. <laughs> so that's what comes in the box and then they have instructions on how to do everything. I'm gonna do the vapor rub. Mine takes a few weeks to do once you get everything together, so I'll let you guys watch me put it all together. Okay, so you got your little list of stuff. Alright, so we're gonna fill the jar three fourths of the way with the dried herbs. Parts of eucalyptus, one part moon, and optional one part thyme. The next, you're gonna cover it with your choice of carrier oil. Again, they recommend the coconut. I'm going to be using the extra virgin olive oil. Pretty simple. And what's cool about this one is that it just sits in the, it says store in a sunny, warm windowsill. Shake daily and after two to three weeks, strain, strain all that out. You can add essential oils if you want. And if you put it in the fridge, it'll be good for about a year. Okay, so that is how we make the little vapor rub. I'm very excited to let it sit for two weeks, two to three weeks, and then I will finish it up and be able to use it. At least just check them out, see if you like them or if there's something you're interested in. I'm very excited. I will probably be doing a little monthly unboxing of them every month. Like always, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter. Uh, let me know if this kind of box is interesting to you guys. Let me know if you have this box. A little sneak peek for it. The next box uh, is for herbs for romance and ritual. And yeah, that's this month's box. I hope it was eye-opening. I hope you guys check it out and learn apothecary with me. That's all I have and I hope you're enjoying your spooky season as it's just started off. I'll see you in the next video.